What's up, mga kaboom boom pal? Um, inamin ni uh, Naoya Inoue na nahirapan siya or pinakamahirap na laban niya itong uh, si Nonito Donaire. Ang tanong ko eh, na-expose ba siya ni uh, Nonito Donaire or natulungan siya ni Nonito Donaire na mag-improve lalo bilang isang boxingero? Ako po si Pao Salu ng Pao Sports. Gusto ko lang mapag-usapan ito ng konti. Subscribe, hit that notification bell at uh, Lagi tayong magkwentuhan pare. Okay, basahin ko lang sandali yung um, yung uh, article o uh, kaya yung statement niya dito. Um, so, the Dunair fight was surely the toughest fight of my career thus far. Inoue, who suffered a broken orbital bone in the in the Dunair battle. But it was also a fight where I gained a lot of experience and that will make me a better fighter. The injury I suffered has fully recovered and I've been sparring after the new year, holidays, And it hasn't affected my training. So, yun po yung statement ni uh, Nangoya Inoue. And uh, I honestly believe that um, um, it has helped him to be a better boxer, but it has also exposed him. So, the, the answer to that question is, I think, both. For a while, Nunito Denaire look, looks like a, a real monster. Uh, after like you know he's been dismantling uh, all of his opponent uh, but after the, the Nonito Denari fight uh, we found out that uh, he can be hurt he can be damaged and uh, nasasaktan din pala itong si the monster na Naoya Inoue ng Japan and uh, pinakita yan ni um, Nonito Denari of course um, tapos na yung laban na yan and uh, Naoya Inoue deservingly won that fight Uh, but of course, a lot of speculation saying if, if it was the younger Nunito Dunahari, it was uh, a different story. And uh, I, I think pwede, pwede siguro kung ganun, but uh, there's also a, a flip side to that uh, fight. And uh, the flip side to that fight, uh, ito yung um, usually the, I think it was a needed fight for Naoya Inoue for him to reevaluate that, hey, Not everyone uh, uh, is, you know, uh, is the same, and there are fighters who may be uh, better skilled than me or may have better punching power. It's possible. No need to deny it. Teached him that lesson uh, during that fight. I know that no need to deny it. Rumored uh, to have been teaching uh, Naoya Inoue in the past, uh, but. Uh, During that fight, I think he taught Naoya Inoue to be more careful and uh, to be a better defensive fighter as well. Um, you know, the power is there, but uh, after that fight, uh, I think we would see something different in Naoya Inoue. I think he, w- he would still be the monster that he is, but uh, he would be more intelligent in fighting because he know uh, that uh, you know he can be hit, he can be hurt. And Jason Maloney, his upcoming fight, uh, it is not a pushover. He has a very good, Jason Maloney has a very good uh, knockout ratio. So, you know, there's a chance that uh, Jason Maloney might hurt uh, Noye Inoue. So, ang, uh, the thing about this fight is, you know, there's, there's a puncher, puncher's chance for Jason Maloney to, to win this fight. Uh, and, and because of that experience that he got with Nonito Dunaire, he will be more careful. So, yun lang ang masasabi ko. Ano sa tingin nyo? Um, we will we see a, diff- a different or a better version of uh, Naoya Inoue? Or would we see a, a, you know, a scared version because of the uh, kumbaga, yung kanyang um, uh, injury that uh, takot siyang uh, matamaan yung injury? Pag-usapan natin yan sa comment section at excited na rin ako sa laban niya sa October 31, November 1 sa Pilipinas po. Try natin na mag-fight vlog. Kaya samahan niyo ako uh, this week. Uh, marami tayong comment, commentary or content uh, regarding uh, that fight. Salamat po. Thank you. Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.